No podemos hablar de desarrollo. We cannot talk about social development or improving living conditions of a community without a focus on water and sanitation. Because contaminated water causes diseases that not only currently affect us, but will continue to affect the health of future generations. Having a water filter does not necessarily ensure that families are drinking clean water. During supervision, we realized that the filtered water often became recontaminated in storage buckets. For that reason, we decided to add a new pilot component to the program, water promoters. Our goal is to train more people, mainly the youth, on not only water, but also sanitation and hygiene. When we first start working with a community, we identify the need for filters through water testing to verify the level of contamination in water sources. After that, we share the test results with the community and provide a series of trainings. Next, we install the water filters, do supervision rounds, and now the water promoters will help provide more ongoing counseling through home visits. We feel that providing both the technology to improve the quality of water along with education for local water promoters makes the program more sustainable. Andres was the first water promoter in Banco de Siquia, and he was the only one for a year and a half. But now that he has five more water promoters by his side, he has noticed they can get a lot more work done together to improve their living conditions. My name is Andres, and I'm a water promoter in Banco de Siquia. We are only able to do this work because of the training we received. At trainings, we learn how to talk with the families, how we can get clean water for drinking, about the importance of the use of latrines, and how families should manage them. In the case of garbage, we learn how to recycle it, separating the organic from the inorganic material. With every topic we learn about in the training, people are willing to participate, and together we're able to help our community prosper. Before we had filters in the community, there were many illnesses. Since the filters were installed, we have constantly been doing home visits every month. Families have been telling us when we visit their homes that they notice less disease overall and that children get sick less often. So in my opinion, I have seen change in my community. I am really proud because this project requires education. We are devoted to the project because of our love for the community and especially for the children because we have seen really positive changes. We are so happy to have the support that Amos is giving to our community. Our hope is that more filters can be installed for those who still don't have one. We hope that if we always work hand in hand, the program will keep improving because that would be something for our community to be proud of. As you can see, this is a lot of work and we need your support. You can pray for us, you can make a donation to Amos, and you can also come to Nicaragua for a unique experience, either with a team as a delegation or serve as a summer volunteer. We look forward to having you here. God bless you. Bendiciones.